So, in the interest of bringing us all together, I'd like to propose a little icebreaker. Oh, like never have I ever? Uh, that game's a little much. I know. So here's how it works. One person says something they've never done, and if you have done it, you have to drink alcohol. Uh, that game's a little intense. Like for people who don't know each other real well. So how about we just pair off, powwow with your partner for a sec, and then afterwards you can introduce her to the rest of us. This white girl said powwow. So? So it's not her word. You should be triggered. Okay. I'm not, though. Why am I always fighting your battles for you? I don't know. Because you like fighting? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Guess I'll have to play matchmaker. You can come with me. Right about here. Okay. And it looks like we'll need one little group of three. Or you can just sit this one out. All right, Shelby. And you are? Martha. Martha, it's a pleasure. Okay, so let me tell you a bit about me. Okay, I do real, okay? I do family, I do Jesus, I do pageants. And I'm doing this conference to offset the pageants. Some colleges might see them as retrograde when it comes to female empowerment. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you I have the most drop-dead gorgeous eyes? Hey, I've got a question about your shirt. I've got a few questions about your cargo pants. Yeah, well, I'm not a lesbian. Sorry to disappoint. I just like storage. Mm. But I see shirts like yours everywhere. Shirts that have, like, a lot of attitude. So what's your question, then? I guess just why are they a thing? Um, because they're super cute and super hilarious. I just think it's kind of funny. You wearing that to a feminist retreat because your shirt is literally telling women, get out of your face. Whatever. I don't even get feminism. I get called a girly girl like it's a bad thing. So I'm double the amount of girl. And somehow that's not feminist. It's ridiculous. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. This looks delicious. Thanks, dude. So you play basketball? Yeah, I used to. I got cut from the team front sports for my conduct. This bitch from another team kept fouling me, so I pissed in my hand and I threw it at her. Were you good? Hell yeah. I was a beast on the court. People who waste their talent get on my nerves. If I missed even one meet based off of some foolishness on my part, I'd never forgive myself. What are you doing? I have an app that turns my phone into a digital scale. Also, I have two pugs, Coco and Jax. They're from the same litter, but they're like so different. So what kind of music do you listen to? I don't really know. Everything, I guess. You know what's funny? I always say I'm into rap and hip hop, but the other day I was going through my Spotify history, and guess what I listened to most? Pink. It was like a wake up call for me. Honestly, we should all be checking our play count. You can't hide from your play count, and my play count says I like pink. <laughs> Who do you keep looking at? My sister. So, have you been listening to me at all? You're from San Francisco. You hate being homeschooled. You work at your family's restaurant. You collect erasers. You have two pugs named Coco and Jax, and you're existentially prepared to admit that you like pink. No, boys aren't really into me. At least none that you know of. Oh, I've got a pretty good lay of the land. It's just none, period. Well, all you need is one good one. Andrew. Uh, he is such a keeper. For our anniversary, he bought me an actual star. Like, in the sky. And he named it after me. Oh, uh, Shelby, sorry. I, I think you have cake in your teeth. Uh, would you excuse me? Thanks.